Hey guys, Mark from Visa Tui coming at you with another one of these Wine of the Month Club recipes. This one perfectly paired with our 2016 Peridiso, a Royal Cabernet Sauvignon blend with Petit Verdot, Malbec, Cabernet Franc, and a little bit of Merlot. What else can you ask for? An ultra layered blend, and I've got the ultimate layered dish to pair perfectly with it. The ultimate Cubano sandwich so let's get started. Now with Super Bowl coming up, this might be something to keep in mind to be able to serve as well. So first what you want is some nice soft uh, French roll or ciabatta will do. And in my case, gonna just make a portion for myself right now. So gonna cut this into third. And then of course down the middle, split it into half. Now this sandwich, is all about layering, just like this wine is all about layering. So on one side of the bread, we're gonna spread some mayo. And you can't be shy with anything about this sandwich. This is the ultimate Cubano. And on the other side, we're gonna go with some yellow mustard. Now that these are evenly on there, we can move to some of the other ingredients. Now the first ingredient is gonna be some nice slow roasted pork loin. We'll put a layer of this down on the base. And followed by a layer of slow smoked ham. And I like to try to not lay them too flat, kind of fold them over a little bit to lend just a little bit more uh, texture and thickness to the sandwich. After the ham, then of course we gotta have bacon. But especially I'll tell you when it comes down to the bold tannins that you can get off of rich blends like our Peridizo, it takes three main things, the proteins, the salts, and the fats. And by the time we're done with this, it's gonna have all of that. And what that's gonna do to the wine is really soften the blow, some of the grippiness and the spice off the tannins and really bloom the body and the fruit layering of the wine as well. All right, so now that we've got our meat layers on there, it's time for sliced Swiss cheese. And now some dill pickle, and we're gonna slice them lengthwise. And you know, as thinly as you like. Not too thick, not too thin. I can't wait. So let's get it all put together and onto our panini grill. So lid goes on. And of course, we need to have a nice thick layering of butter. So onto the bottom of the grill. And again, don't be shy with this step. You've gotta have this to make that nice crust on the bread and to also bring some nice caramelization out as well. And now the top. And into the griddle it's gonna go, and it's gonna take about you know, three to five minutes, and you want your griddle to be on you know, a medium to medium high heat. We do wanna press down here for the first about minute, and this, of course, gives us time to check in with our Paradiso. Mm. And I gotta tell you, I think this wine is really drinking so well right now, but for some years to come in the cellar, possibly another seven to 10 years. Right about now, it's gonna start talking to you. You're gonna hear that sound of that bubbly cheese hitting the griddle. And that tells you you're almost there. All right, guys, time is up. Oh man, I cannot wait. And we'll just give it a skewer onto this half, one onto this half. And wow. Look at that. Cut it on the bias. You get to see all of that amazing work. Mm. 
Oh my gosh. The ultimate Cubano sandwich has so much going on, but in such a simple way, and anybody can do this. But my goodness, what an effect it's having on this wine. It's really highlighting those bright, racy red fruits. It's always paradise with Paradiso in the glass. It's such a magical combination. I cannot wait for you guys to try this. So until next time, cheers. Here's to the good life.